Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the secret Active Directory box from CyberSec Labs. Our Nmap scan is pretty uh, usual for an Active Directory box, nothing surprising here. We get the domain name which is secret. Um, and then let's start looking at, into Active Directory. So one of the things that's always worth trying is see can we log in without any credentials on SMB. So we're going to use SMB client dot pi, then we'll supply secret or as the domain name, then a user, and then a DIP address. And we'll see if that works. If we enter no password at all, let's take a look at if we can look at the shares. For these shares, the office share is the most interesting one because that's the only one that's not that's not usual. And then we do use office share and we see, okay, we can access that. Now, you didn't have to use guest as a, as a user, you could use anything here and that would work because this is a guest account. So any, any username would work here. Okay, so now we know we have this office share that we can access. Now let's see if we can mount that share so we have easy access to it. So we're going to do mount dash G C I F S then dash O username can equal anything comma password is going to equal nothing. Then we have slash slash and then the IP of the box. Then we supply the share we want to mount, which is office underscore share and then a local location where we want to mount to and that's going to be office share as well. So if you run that we see that finishes without any issues. So now if you go to slash, uh, let's open that in a new terminal here. CD slash mount slash office share. So now we can do an LS here. We see, okay, we have access to all these files. Let's see if there's any files in there by using recursive to look through folders recursively. So far, nothing. We have this complete initiation.txt. So let's take a look at that. That's in joke cakes to do. So I can cat cakes to do uh, and we need to uh, surround that in single quotes so Joe cakes to do and then complete initiation uh, complete your company in initiation to write to your portfolio so that's nothing but then we have this default password here now that's something that's obviously very interesting uh, and that's in templates so cat template oh, and then default password.txt we have secret arc and an, an exclamation point now we also have a lot of usernames here our three usernames four so let's see if we can uh, if we can use any of those with the default credentials so we're going to do uh, let's get uh, this up here so I can read the names and let's edit this file and call it names. So we have bend over, we have Joe Cakes, we have Ker Kirby Curtis Lee Frank. So those are the names. Now we want to format these names in, in a way that is usual for Active Directory. Now uh, Hectrix here has a little piece on that. So if you go to Active Directory methodology then they have a part on how names are usually formatted in Active Directory. So that's the part. So these are the usual naming conventions when you have names. Now, in my toolkit, CTF tools, which you can find on my GitHub, we have this CTF word list names, which is going to take a word list of names and format them in that matter. So if we take an LS now, we have created this formatted uh, name word list and if you look at it it has formatted all the names in all kinds of different ways that are easy to use for brute forcing. I'm going to exit out of this and now we're going to try to brute force these names with that password that we had. So we're going to do crack map exec uh, on SMB with our IP address. Then we can say dash u and that's going to be our name list and dash p and that was secret org and an exclamation point. So now we'll run that and actually before I run that let's add dash dash shares here so that when that finishes we see if we have access to a new share or not. So that's gonna run. I'll put this in full screen 
and hopefully that will give us something to go for. And it found credentials jcakes with secret orc and we see we uh, don't really have access to a new interesting share but maybe we can use this account to access WinRM. So let's see that for J cakes. J cakes. Uh, and that's just shares doesn't work for WinRM testing with CrackMap exec. Uh, and that's going to work. So in the meanwhile, I'll already type the next command because we are going to WinRM in as this user now. Dot one dot four user is going to be j cakes and the password will be secret org and up top here this is finished running and we can see that yes indeed it did work and we can log in using evil winrm or any winrm uh, you can also do it on windows uh, to get a shell as the as this user so now we are this user uh, since this is an, is an Active Directory box, I'm going to try uploading Bloodhound on this. So let's go opt uh, Bloodhound. And we're going to upload Sharphound here, which is an ingester for Bloodhound. And what Sharphound is going to do, Sharphound is going to query um, the Active Directory domain and get ev all the information. Uh, and using that information, we can then go into Bloodhound and run all kinds of queries on it. Now, how do you use Bloodhound? First, you have to start Neo4G, which you can just download from the website. So we start, this uh, is a graphing database. Um, and this database, is Bloodhound is going to use that to, um, to query. And then after that, we just run Bloodhound. In the meanwhile, this file is almost done downloading. So I'm going to run that dot slash sharphound dot exe. So that's going to run and query everything in the database, in the uh, Active Directory. So that's gonna finish quite fast here and it's gonna generate a zip that we can then download. Okay, so now I'm also gonna upload, before we take a look at that, I'm gonna upload uh, Evil Winner, um, no, I'm gonna upload WinPiece to the box here, um, just so we can use that later if we need it. So that's gonna be WinPiece and Win, win piece exe, then win piece again, then bin, then uh, what's it? Release, and then finally win piece dot exe. So we'll upload that, and in the meanwhile, we'll take a look at this. So we have our zip here and our bloodhound here, and we can just drag that zip into bloodhound, and it's going to start processing these files. In the database info here, we can see there are seven users, so one computer. Uh, 54 groups and so on. So now we can use these queries. Now there's a lot of pre-built queries so we can find all domain admins. We see administrator is the only domain admin. We can look for uh, as rep roastable users. Uh, we can look for curb roastable accounts. Um, but nothing really shows up here. Um, so so that's kind of a bummer, right? We don't have anything here. So let's see if we have WinPiece already downloaded and maybe WinPiece can find something. So now if you run winpiece.exe. So that's going to start running. In the meanwhile, we can maybe look at all the other users we have here. So I made this custom query that you can use as well. So it's a, a match m user return m. So it's going to find all the users. So if we run that, we can see all the users in the domain. And these are indeed all those users we had before. Uh, and let's, while, while WinPiece is still running, let's update our users file from before. And let's uh, get all of these new names in. That was B Dover, that was J Cakes, L Frank, and K Curtis. J Cakes, L Frank, and uh, J Curtis, K Curtis. K Curtis. So now we have that created for if we need that. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's look at, oh, here, that's what I wanted. Okay, let's look at the output from win piece. So this stop part usually isn't that interesting. No, no uh, 
antivirus. We don't have any interesting token privileges. However, we have some auto logon credentials. And these auto logon credentials are in Windows, so when you uh, when you start a PC, you don't have to enter your credentials. But we have this default password here that we could try on our users. So let's see. We can use crack map, crack map, crack map exec again. Uh, let's use the users file and then as password this password that we had before. So that's going to start running. In the meanwhile, we will keep on looking here. So there's a lot of services. I think this is or uh, oh, and we had a we had a match actually for B Dover. So now we can let's exit this because we can evil WinRM as B Dover now. Uh, so let's do just that. Do I still have it copied? Yes, I do. And we do B Dover here. So we're going to evil win our M in. And let's maybe see if there's a path from B Dover to domain admin. So if you run that, we see there's a path. We see B Dover over here is a member of service accounts, which is a member of administrators. So that's a local administrator. And then administrators has a couple of things over domain admins, which is what we want to become. So we can do write DACL, write owner, and generic write. Now the easiest to exploit here is generic write. So if you right click on this, you can say help and abuse info, and it's going to show us that we can add ourselves to the domain admins group, but net group domain admins add. So let's run just that. Uh, okay. Can I copy this? And we'll add B Dover here to this group. So now we've added B Dover to the domain admins group. And now the last thing left is we want to get a hash for administrator. And for that, we can use Mimikatz. So let's upload that. So slash opt slash Mimikatz. You can find all of this uh, on GitHub as well if you want it to run it yourself. And then we can put mimikatz.exe on the box. So with mimikatz, what we can do is we can dump uh, LSA, which is going to contain a hash for the administrator. And using that hash, we can log in using evil winrm. So this is uploaded. So let's run mimikatz here. So dot slash mimikatz.exe. We're then going to run the first command, which is going to be setting our privilege to debug. This is something in Mimikatz you can only do when you are domain admin, so that's why we needed that. Then we can do a LSA dump, uh, no, LSA dump, colon, colon, LSA dash patch. And then we can do exit at the end. Now, this LSA dump uh, slash patch, you can also only do when you have the debug privilege set here. So we needed to be domain admin for this, but that l leaves us with a hash, an NTLM hash for the administrator account. So now if we exit out of this and we say instead of dash P, we do dash capital H, we en enter the hash here and we enter the admin administrator account. Now for more info on any of this, go to Hack Tricks. They, they have great, great uh, a lot of great text about this, for example, here, you can have more information about this kind of attack, about everything here. So I would definitely suggest you to read through this if you're not really sure what's happening here. So, but currently we have a shell as administrator now. So that was this box. I hope you enjoyed this box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, as always, leave them below and I will see you back with another video.